just over 2,300 years ago in what today is central Turkey, the ancient and prosperous kingdom of Phrygia was visited by one of the greatest rulers the world had ever seen. In the palace of its capital city lay an ancient ox cart which once belonged to its founding king, Gordias. The cart was secured in place by an impossibly intricate knot. When Alexander the Great visited the city, he was informed of a legendary prophecy that whoever managed to loosen the complex knot and free the ox cart would eventually rule over all of Asia. Alexander, ambitious as he was, sauntered up to the knot of Gordias and finding great difficulty in untying it, he simply sliced it open with one stroke of his sword. Though the events surrounding the complex knot of King Gordias are steeped in myth and legend, they are still remembered to this day in the name of a truly bizarre animal. But to find it, I need to find some water first. where the stream slows down and forms calm pools of water. A strange creature stirs. This is a species of horsehair worm. It's completely featureless to the naked eye, and if it wasn't moving, you'd hardly think it was a living organism at all, let alone an animal deserving of such a kingly name. For the scientific name of this worm is Gordius, after that ancient king, Gordias, whose ox cart was tied so intricately. The worm is able to tie itself into complex knots, which seem impossible to untie, and thus it was likened to the legendary ligature which Alexander the Great had sliced so long ago. But the simple thread-like nature of Gordius and other horsehair worms belies an incredibly complex and sinister life cycle. Adult horsehair worms never stray far from fresh water, as this is where females must lay their microscopic eggs, more than 20 million of which may be deposited during their lifetime. The eggs hatch to yield a tiny free-swimming larvae. Their mission is to find an aquatic insect and enter inside its body. Here, they form cysts inside the insect's body wall, tough capsules which protect the worm larvae until they reach their final destination, yet another insect. The aquatic insects which first ingested the larvae and developed their cysts now must fall victim to larger predators such as beetles and mantises which consume the infected hosts. Inside the predator, the young worms break free from their cyst-like state and begin to feed and grow on their new insect hosts. They can attain great lengths, but their incredible thinness allows them to pack themselves well until the right moment arrives to emerge from their hosts when water is nearby. At such a moment, the worm leaves its host once and for all, snaking out and wriggling into the water, leaving its host to die. <laughs> 